Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Destiny 2 Adventure Time where we're going through every adventure side activity in the game. We're back on Io, the lovely moon of Jupiter, one of Jupiter's moons of course. And we're gonna do another adventure this time around. So we're right next to the Pyramid... pyramid just let me check the name. The Pyramidion in the uh, Rupture, I think this area is called. Yeah, the Rupture. So uh, this is a giant vex vault that is just uh, waiting to be discovered. I don't know if this uh, adventure is going to head us inside of there, but Arecibo, Ares investigate a mysterious broadcast that only you and your ghost can hear. Hello? Hey, Asher, are you picking up anything strange on channel J1869? Sounds kind of like music. Channel J what? No. No, I hear nothing of consequence on any of my scanners, including this one. Okay, check ass. I bet I can track it back to the source. Okay, let's go check it out then. Is it? Where is it going? Where is it leading me to? Oh yeah, I can hear the music. Is it? In here? Like somebody playing a, a banjo or something like that. No wait, it's not over here. What the fuck? Okay, this has piqued my interest. Are these Are hostile? they scanning that thing or is it scanning them? Good question. Can I interrupt? Oh no, I can't. Let's just start punching. That doesn't look vex. It looks more like, yeah, human technology. Yeah, it's from the war mine. Look, there's a symbol on it. Okay. There's a message encrypted in this music. Got it. Some kind of quotation. Real things in the darkness seem no realer than dreams. Asher, can you run an archive query for us? Asher. Channel's down. I'll run the query myself. What is that? What is this? Oh, it's something unrelated so, to the adventure. It turns out both the music and the quotation predate the traveler's arrival in this solar system. There, oh. I, maybe we activated some kind of high-tech time capsule. Um, yeah, but a high-tech time, time capsule, uh, capsule. I kind of messed the, the audio up by activating that thing, but there's a golden chest here as well. So let's open that up. Follow the music. I don't see the music. I only see a marker on my hut here. On the map. So let's follow that. This is interesting. It's something different again. Which is fine by me. But that thing did have the war mine symbol on it. So I think Ghost kind of missed that already while they showed it to us. It's weird that he didn't recognize the symbol as we did. There's Gandalf flying around, apparently. I'll just keep going. There's a lot of ways that this planet actually resembles Mars from Destiny 1. Because it also had these large open canyons. It's like they only changed the color palette a bit to green instead of red. But yeah. I'm not complaining. Definitely not complaining. I leave the complaining to everybody else who thinks this game is dead. Okay, now what? I'm guessing we need to head down, right? Because there is a way of getting down here. Sounds, yeah, there's more crystals over here. So phase glass is this planet's uh, resource. Oh. What the hell? Well, this is a site. They're missing me constantly, by the way. Hmm. 
This is so weird. But yeah, it clearly has the Warmind symbol on it right there. There. And there. I'm examining. There's another old quotation encoded here. Misdirected by accident or intent, intelligence can foster its own ecstasies of growth and decay. The weird thing is this audio file was just updated. So, this can't be a time capsule. Someone's trying to talk to us. No, no, something. This has to be an AI, right? An old golden age AI, like they'll say. Yeah, the war mind. Look. Oh, well, the music's still going. Ah, there. Okay. It just faded away. That was lovely. Okay, a lot of Minotaurs appear to have spawned right now. So let's just take care of those guys. And then, I'm guessing we need to head down, because the war mind is right underneath this machine. Maybe there's another entrance to this area. So let's ignore those guys and keep going deeper. So we went through the same tunnel we did in the previous episode. So I'm assuming there's... Yeah, I hear it coming from the left this time. Gonna have to take out a few uh, of the creatures here first. This kind of suiting killing enemies this way. It's a completely different type of music again, but it must be over here then, because there's light coming from... No? No, 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 it's fading again. It must be underneath here then. Yeah, we have controlled Vex again. Let's just take him out. Music must have hypnotized them. I don't care whether they're asleep or not. I'm just gonna punch them in the face. Don't take any risks. So there's another one. This one says, "Once war has been undertaken, no peace is made by pretending there is no war." What does that mean? By pretending there is no war, I'm not sure I like the new guy. It's also interesting because it, it kind of looks like what we've seen at the end of the storyline of Destiny 2 and what it appears to be the subject of the next DLC. So I'm wondering if that actually ties into it. Because we're heading back to Mars on the DLC. Because they just announced that. Which is very interesting because it's the first planet we actually revisit uh, from Destiny 1. I do hope they won't reuse too many of the environments. Okay. Is anyone here? Rasputin? I don't think it's gonna be... Re so this is a back entry into the war mine because you can access this area in one of the quests, but it's through the opening from the drill, but now they just let us in. Follow the music. I don't hear any music at the mo Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. There, there, inside of the control chamber. You know, I'm going to be really disappointed if this is all just an elaborate trap to kill us. Okay, that just disappeared. Secure the war. Oh, there's a lot of them, actually. Wow, look at that. So he can just stun the Vax. He can, he can do it a bit longer if he wants to, but... And there they go again. It's funny, so they just enable and disable. No, 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 don't stop. I like your music. It's functional. And concerto. There's Minotaur spawning behind me constantly and I don't like it. Concerto. They keep coming. Oh, fuck. 
Oh, that thing doesn't care about the music. Snapper Raffle took out the Cyclops, and now we need to just mop up the rest of these guys. Oh, now there's two Cyclopses. There we go. Snapper Shot each. And that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. music. Creepy quotations. All signs point to Rasputin. But I don't understand how he could be here. I, I don't understand it as well, but we need to keep following the music. This is still not over. Hello? I love because there's no quest marker now as well, so it just tells us to follow... Oh, there is a quest marker. It's going down. Oh, there is another area down here. I have never seen this before. Okay. Ah! That music, it hurts. Just give me a second. It says, never ask for anything, never for anything, and especially from those who are stronger than you. They'll make the offer themselves and give everything themselves. I don't understand. Something's happening. Hey! Sorry, I spaced out for a second there. What were we doing? Red Sand Mars Ice Caps. That is... Oh, this is so tying into the DLC. This is no... It, it can't be other, otherwise. Arecibo. So, those are a lot of those things we've seen playing the music. So, it's weaponized music designed to take out other machinery. Because there's more over here. It's definitely going to tie into the DLC. That was amazing. This has been my my favorite adventure so far. That is that was really cool. I'm liking this. So yeah, it must have something to do with the the upcoming DLC, which is very nice because if it's anything like this, um yeah. This is great. That was amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, don't forget to like this video right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to continue our tour of IO and all the uh, adventures over here. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye!